Hey Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to your extended reading. You asked for this shit, so let's refine it. Let's let's see if we can figure out what you asked for. That's what I would like to know. Your reading, it felt so collective. I might like post something in the community tab about how it's like, it feels very collective, but it also feels very Capricorn because I feel like you are really representative of the collective at, at whole right now. I, I don't know why, but it just feels that way. Like I said, you're really like leaders of the pack. So I'm going to use the Rider weight. I'm going to go like super traditional since we went like very mystical for your main read. Again, it's like this head to head. It's like, <laughs> it's like even my camera, I keep like running out of storage, but I'm not out of storage. And it's like, it's, it's just like, I feel it. I feel it. Let me see. Okay, before we, even out, out, before we even get out the gate. No, that's not right. Put those back in. I said put those back in. Again, it's like this resistance. Now I'm hearing the resistance. The resistance. We're the resistance. Like counterculture? There's something about like counterculture. What are you doing? What are you doing? My north node's in Capricorn, so I'm a little bit like, what am I doing? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Again, there was that energy in your main read about how there was like an imbalance. Like you just wanted balance. Like um, reciprocity for the amount of work that you were doing. Maybe in your relationships. Maybe just like energetically. Like I'm also, you know what? I'm pulling in something about past lives. I'm pulling in something about past lives. Part of me wants to put this up on the main channel. Um, something maybe in, in one or some of your past lives, there was like um, in, in a great injustice. There was a great injustice that occurred. And um, part maybe like back to that follow the leader kind of thing. Like you were meant to be a leader. Maybe you got pushed in more of like a subservient kind of position, which wasn't like where you were supposed to be. So in this life, the, the balancing out of that was this um, almost like this overcompensation of you be having to be the forefronter, like the forefronter, that's not a word, but we'll take it. The forerunner in the forefront. I just combined those two words. Look at me. I'm, just, I'm a genius. That's, that's kind of what it feels like. Like in, like in a past life, maybe, or even in, in earlier on in, in your actual life now, like you were kind of down here, right? Like the beggar, but you were supposed to be here, but you weren't, you weren't, able to put yourself in that position because of something because of some kind of injustice and so that's part of what is going on for you now that it's like your justice is coming in now because remember that's like the last thing you're going to see on that like rotisserie chicken egg that's coming up and you see he has it in his hand somebody denied you justice in a past life cap and that's part of what this is that's part of like the Almost like it's like that, haven't I suffered enough? Like, haven't I suffered enough? Like, now I got to do all this shit? It's a little bit like that. See, yeah, this came out. This came out um, in those three cards that I didn't want to take. I was like, mm, I don't like those. Temperance in reverse. Again, again, uh, uh, imbalance. Imbalance. And the nine of wands in reverse as well. The nine of wands is like a wounded warrior card, but it's like you're still standing. You're still standing for like another fight. Like someone, there was an imbalance and... There's this energy that you wanted to stand for another fight. Like you wanted to do that, but it's about cut off at the knees. Something, somebody cut you off at the knees. The, the opportunity that you were supposed to have in a past life to like be exalted for, this needs to go away, to be exalted and like become the lender and not the borer kind of energy. You were cut off at the knees. You were denied that opportunity led to um, all of this injustice, which is probably why in this life you're so focused on balance and peace. There's potentially a lot of chaos, a lot of chaos, conflicts. I'm also getting like a certain amount of violence as well. A lot of violence as well. I don't normally pick up past life stuff like this, actually, at 7.07 p.m. as I say that. I don't normally pick up this stuff, but it's coming It's coming through. Um, so I think that's part of the reason why, I don't know if some of these are messages for me, I'm a North Node Capricorn, um, like I said, that um, that's part of why you, you've been like daydreaming, wishing about like peace and like abundance and just like um like calm like fruitful living without it being like a struggle there was so much struggle in your past life you were denied the opportunity to like stand your ground you were cut off at the knees so that's part of this like huge responsibility you being in the in the forefront it's almost like i just wanted to like i be left alone and they were like okay yeah well you can get left alone after you stand up and do all of this stuff it's almost like um 
like a double for your trouble, but it's like a double work. It's like you have extra work to do this life, extra work to do this life because of the work that you were denied the opportunity to do or fulfill in your last life. Which almost doesn't feel fair, but I feel like the benefits in which you will reap will also be double of that you would have had in your past life. Does that make sense? The amount of work you're doing to almost like make up for that is double this time, but the amount of like blessings, abundance that you'll have in this life will is also double of what you would have attained in your last life had you had the ability to do that. I hope that makes sense. I feel my face getting hot. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you didn't have the ability to make plans because the King of Wands is a planner. He's forward moving. He's confident. He's forward moving. Um, and he makes plans like maps. I always say maps. And I was talking about territory in your like your platform, right? In, in your main read as well. Something about you were cut off at the knees. It absolutely destroyed your confidence and your ability your ability to, to make plans and establish and rule over your territory that like the divine had set for you again it's like almost like that light worker energy that light worker energy somebody put maybe that's why there was all that sun energy there was all the sun and the moon right there were so many moons in the top of your reading but towards the end of the reading it was like all fire sun energy someone like snuffed out somebody snuffed out your fire in like a past life um which is why i think you've spent so much of your life up until this point in the dark feeling in the dark but again, it's like all of this fiery energy towards the end of your main read. It's like it being like reign reignited, reignited. That's the word. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. That's badass, Scorp. Oh, I just oh, oh I just called you Scorpio. Why did I do that? Death and rebirth. That's why. Death and rebirth. Perhaps this process really started to become aware for you during Scorpio season, perhaps during like that blue moon, once in a blue moon, once in a blue moon cap, nine of pentacles, this is um, independence, this is stability, this is like blessings, fortune, this is like all the good stuff, that's that good good, that's that good good, and it's also pre-emperor, pre-empress energy as well, That could have been like um, in the beginning of your main read as well when it was like you kind of felt like you were in the belly of the beast, like a little peon, like looking at that tower, like how are we supposed to get all the way up there? Because this is, this is again, it's like it's pre-empress energy, pre-emperor energy, like however you want to slice it and dice it, right? That it's like almost like intuitively, instinctually, like you know you should be of almost like a higher status or like a higher caliber, but it's like you're just still trying to find balance just like... It, it down here like in the natural pentacles being like tangible that like spiritually in the ethereals you 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 your your rank is much higher than what it is down here that could be some of the frustrating like energy like swallowed up by the man by the system sort of thing sort of thing i don't high priest is in reverse the bottom i don't think you realize that again it's like this moon energy it's this moon energy you can't see it four of cups you're just trying to be happy with what you have, trying to take yourself out of emotional, like, dissatisfaction, like, that, that's, that spilt milk kind of energy. You're trying to just be content with what you have, but I feel as though you're feeling a, a consistent level of frustration because what you have is not enough. What you have is not enough. It's almost like not wanting to be that leader, not wanting to take on all that responsibility, but also feeling, like, bored. It's like being in a class as a kid, and it's like the homework's too easy, so you just like dick around because you're bored, right? It's like you need more of a challenge. You need more of a challenge. This because because again, it's like spiritually, like you know that you're like in the natural below a rank that you need to be with more responsibility, more territory, more to do, more to do. Trying to be content with where you're at, what you have, but at some level you're not. I think that's part of that like unintentional like wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. Again, unable to like have the foundation, the foundation that you want. Maybe you actually want to start a foundation, like a charity or something. Some to ensure that other people have help in the position that like you are in or you were in. Again, it's that like lender versus borrower kind of energy. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to take other people out of the cold. Because I think not only in this life have you felt very kind of like excluded, very like bottom of the ladder, but I think because of also what's pouring through from your past life as well, 
that you want to you want to ensure that the territory the platform what you get to kind of like rule over or like tend to that other people don't have to feel like this that you get to pull other people like up with you that's part of that you know that's part of that leader as well like a good leader is not just somebody who like sits on a throne and like wears a crown and like has a lot of responsibility or money or all that stuff and like looks good right but it's also somebody that takes care of like their people it takes care of like your soul tribe you know it's like whatever you want to call it right it's about that too it's about bringing other people up with you that's part of the added responsibility in this life i feel as though perhaps in your past life you would have been yeah other, I, look work other people that don't are they're out in the cold and they don't have the ability to work wanting to give other people the opportunity it's like that leg up i think maybe in your past life you kind of got cut off at the legs you were supposed to have like a certain amount of responsibility help a certain amount of people but like perhaps that it would have just like ended there like your aspirations weren't like as big or as high but now in this life they're much much higher they're much much higher wanting to take people out of the cold out of isolation i'm also hearing like out of like feeling like lost and like depressed with like nothing to do other people that don't have things to do they don't have a purpose right they don't feel in three is also a communal energy they don't feel a part of like a community seven of pentacles they also don't know how to stand up for themselves it's like an advocate again it's like this foundation energy it's like being an advocate teaching other people how to be a self-advocate but being an advocate for other people who were like thrown away it's like the king of lost causes like and i i say that it's in the in my like about me um i think in on the patreon and i think it's on my channel too that like there's no such thing as a lost cause like there's no no one's beyond saving no one's beyond helping there's no such thing as a lost cause it's like very similar energy because that's how you were made to feel and you want to make sure that no one else like has to feel that way either people that can't stand up for themselves because they've been like pushed down they've been swallowed up by the man by the machine right there's like a lot of foundation like charity work charity work yeah judgment in reverse Pe like people that aren't in a position to like get justice and like get like that resurrect because ju judgment is a resurrection energy people where it's like society or the way things are, are are set up in such a way that like they don't get a fair judgment they don't get a fair judgment because again there's like there's like some legal energy too like without the ability to like self-advocate like without the ability to defend themselves like law now there's also, i'm also pulling like some prison energy just like the way that's three of pentacles card is going into i'm like pulling in like words like pro bono like um like a uh like public defender that's what it is i'm pulling in like public defender energy it's like it's like that kind of stuff or like you know i'm looking at this little kid on this pentacles card too i'm pulling in like orphanage energy like like stuff like that stuff like that look six of swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse people that aren't again in the position to have fair judgments toward them unable to stand up for themselves unable to pull themselves out of their circumstances and find like actual work this is looking like an unemployment line to me right now as well um, and move themselves like into calmer waters there's also a family in this boat too so again it feels um very uh uh, uh the, the word i'm pulling in the word caretaker that's not it though like again it's like this communal it's just like communal like health and family services like health and family services look magician ace of pentacles three of cups page of pentacles shit look at this cat this is what you're supposed to be doing this is what like you're doing for yourself even though like you're kicking and screaming the whole way right now but this is also what like god is trying to do for you and it's justice for you for what you've been through like in this life but also it's double justice and and bounty for what you had to go through in your last life but this is also what you're going to be teaching other people to do again it's almost like look this almost looks like you like standing up for other people like advocating like speaking out about like their ability to to like provide for themselves like live prosperously prosperously like have opportunities again like to to work to work the three of cups is like joy and celebration and look at this page of pentacles this is like learning new skills learning new abilities applying them in, in practical matters it's literally like life liberty and like the pursuit of happiness that's how it feels they don't have a lot of faith helping people restore their faith as well their faith in my instinct is to say God, but I'm hearing humanity, like faith in other people, faith in other people. 
right? It's like this cup. This is like emotional, like emotional beginnings, like being able to trust people as well with this death card representing transformation as well. Beautiful. That's beautiful, Capricorn. I might post this on the main channel. I might. I feel like I should, but I'm going to leave it here for right now, Cap. Um, beautiful. Never pulling past, past life stuff. Huh. Fun. Neat. Neat. Um, yeah, so Cap, this was your extended. Cool. What a read. 